Hey y'all, Irix Guy here. Now, I'm going to share all the details with you, but I just want to go ahead and summarize. Yes, the DJI Phantom 3 has been officially announced. I've got pricing, i got all the specs, and you can check the link within this video's description to order. It's not yet available to order, but as soon as it is, you'll find it there. So check the link within this video's description. It'll be on Snag Bear as soon as it's available. Now, what I want to talk about is just a quick summary of what it's going to bring in, and it is huge. It is huge. It is a major upgrade to the already awesome DJI Phantom 2 Vision Plus, and also I'm going to use it in preference of what I was using as an interim 4K video solution, which was my IRX Sky 4K Phantom 2. My IRX Sky 4K Phantom 2 is awesome, but the Phantom 3 is a lot more portable, a lot more integrated. Now let's, let's get into the goodness here. So what is Phantom 3 going to bring to the table? There's, for, for starters, there's a couple of models. There's the Fan, Phantom 3 Pro, which has the 4K, the camera capable of 4K, 30 frames per second. And, and obviously prices may fluctuate, but it's expected to hit at around $1,259, $1,259 US dollars. Now they've also got a second version, which they're referring to as Phantom 3 Advanced. It does not have 4K. It's just got 1080p but it has 1080p 60 versus the 1080p 30 that you found on the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. So you're getting twice the frames per second at 1080p. And it's expected to come in at around 999 US dollars. So the, the slated uh, release pricing, in my opinion, seems to be really good. And I think that's probably signaling a lot of competition that is going to occur in 2015. We know that GoPro is going to be releasing a GoPro drum. And that's even uh, further suggested by the lack of just a Phantom 3, a Phantom 3 without a camera. Because it seems that, that DJI wants you to buy their camera. And I am super happy to buy DJI's camera, and I'm going to explain why in depth here. So with the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, and you may have seen my hundreds of videos that I filmed in 1080p 30 frames per second with the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, and you notice how nice they look. They were very smooth. I liked the, um, how everything was integrated. I could just link it with my iPad or my iPhone, and I was able to use the DJI Vision app for my FPV and to, uh, you know, and to see what the camera sees. The Phantom 3, and, and I'm, getting the, I'm getting the Pro, the one with 4K. The Phantom 3, the way that the camera works, you notice that the, uh, that the Phantom 2 Vision Plus camera, although awesome, I feel that it's awesome. I mean, I filmed a ton of videos with it. But it did kind of give a fisheye look. So to explain what fisheye is, say you're looking at the ocean and you're taking a shot out over the ocean. If it was fisheye, there would be a slight curvature notice, noticeable. Now the Phantom 3 camera, and, and granted I haven't used it yet, but I'm, I'm getting it as soon as I can order it from the link within this video's description. But the Phantom 3 camera is supposed to eliminate that fisheye effect, which is even going to make the quality better. Not to mention you're getting 4K if you opt for the Pro version like I'm going to get, 4K 30 frames per second. So even, con even filming continuous video at 4K, you're looking at four times the physical size of Full HD, which is 1920 by 1080. 4K is four times that physical size. So by filming continuous video, it's easy to extract high quality still fit high quality still photos in post production uh, using a tool like I use Final Cut Pro. So I can just save say save uh, save image and save a still from the continuous video. So that's nice. So I'm not actually and obviously you could still snap still photos if you wanted to, but the way I like to fly is filming continuous video. That way I don't miss anything. And then I can go in and extract the perfect shot. And that's what I did with the Iris Sky 4K Phantom 2. You'll see a lot of high quality photos that I'll be sending out in my newsletter and uh, posting on Facebook, etc. And those high quality aerial stills from my Iris Sky 4K Phantom 2. I never shot still photos with it. I just always extracted those stills from the continuous 4K 30 frames per second video that the GoPro was filming. So the camera with the Phantom 3 and obviously the Pro is a 4K if you don't need 4K, if you just want 1080p, 
you can get the advanced and, and potentially save a few hundred bucks off the price. But the the <laughs> the pro with the 4K is is what I want. So the the design of the unit itself, the design of the Phantom of the Phantom 3, <clears throat> it looks basically just like a Phantom 2, which is great. And I was so relieved because I was afraid that they were going to potentially unveil some sort of um, like Phantom mated with an Inspire or something like that. Just some sort of really weird craft. I'm not a fan of the Inspire one. That's my personal preference. I love DJI. I've owned Phantom 1, Phantom 2, Phantom 2 Vision Plus, and I'm about to get the Phantom 3 Pro. But I did not like the Inspire one. But what's cool about Phantom 3 is that you also get the ground sensors on the bottom. So if you're flying indoors or even outside, it's able to sense that ground. That's a cool feature that they added. And where it even gets sweeter is that you're getting light bridge. So the controller, it looks, you know, you'll be at home with it. It's a very similar design to the, uh, to the Phantom 2 or the Phantom 2 Vision Plus controller. But it doesn't have that, you know, you had to have that little Wi-Fi dongle on your... Uh, on your Phantom 2 uh, Vision Plus, that's not there. All of the uh, all of the light bridge is integrated into the controller itself, and then you can just mount your tablet or your phone on the uh, on the controller to use, you know, to make sure your shots are lined up. FPV flying, 720p HD. Whereas with the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, when you were using you you were looking at the FPV view, it wasn't high definition. When you're looking at FPV view on your uh, Phantom 3, it's 720p HD. So basically all that means is that you're going to have a better real-time representation of what you're filming. And that's good, especially if you're filming smaller objects, you know, maybe like a tree branch or something that, you know, if you're, if you're a hundred feet or so away from it, you may not be able to see that branch with your eye. I mean, obviously you could see the drone because you're responsible and you're flying line of sight, but you may not be able to see that branch if you had a Phantom 2 Vision Plus FPV, which is not high definition resolution, versus a, uh, a Phantom 3, which has a 720p HD live stream. So that's, you know, that's nice to be able to see in real time that extra level of detail. You're no longer using DJI Vision app. Uh, and and I, <laughs> this is where I'm dumb and I, I, I've, I, I forgot the terminology. I think it's called DJI Pilot app or something like that. It's a more advanced app. I think it may be the same app that they include with the Inspire 1, which I don't like the Inspire 1, but the app that came with it was, uh, was more robust. So you're getting a more robust app. And, and just to speak of some of those features, and obviously as soon as I get my hands on this, I'll have a, an exhaustive unboxing video, review videos, tons of field tests. So you'll be able to see it just as if it was in your hands by watching my videos on youtube.com forward slash irixguy. But from what I've seen, without being in my own hands, the new app is a lot more robust. And some of the primary features that it brings to the table, in addition to being able to see the real-time uh, uh, first-person view in 720p HD, uh, but it also brings a flight log, so you can keep a log of all of your flights within the app. Um, and it also, it's got this really cool feature, since your phone is no longer, because with your Phantom 2 Vision Plus, you were paired, you know, a Wi-Fi connection, you had to uh, pair your phone. But because, since this is Lightbridge, it's a different animal, so that means it frees up your phone. So what you can do with your phone, if you choose to do so, you could stream, so say you're, you're flying close to a Wi-Fi connection, or say you have a high... Uh, a high-speed uh, cellular connection. You could stream to YouTube Live. So while that thing's flying in the air, while that Phantom 3's flying, it's streaming a live YouTube video. Now, how cool is that? A lot of people may say it's kind of gimmicky, <clears throat> but just think about the... Just, just step forward into the future here and think about the real-world applications for real-time live aerial video. You know, maybe it's some sort of event, maybe it's some sort of uh, uh, car chase or, or whatever for that matter. Just think about that and think about what, what the advantages might be to being able to see a live aerial video feed. So that's, that's a cool feature. 
What I'm not sure about at the time of posting this, and as soon as I find out, I mean, obviously, I'm going to, I'm going to obsess over this Phantom 3 because it is my next, it's, it's my next drone. Hands down. Phantom 3 is, don't get my water. Sorry, Sean Coonery was trying to get my water. Um, but it's hands down my next drone. Again, I love the Irix Sky 4K Phantom 2. But I always have loved, and you've known this by watching my videos, I always loved how integrated everything with the Vision Plus was, the Phantom 2 Vision Plus. And this is the next level of that Phantom 2 Vision Plus. So, I mean, I'm going to tear this down. What I want to find out, and at the time of posting this, if you know, let me know, uh, just by looking at a, uh, at a picture and video of the Phantom 3, it seems that the battery may be, may be the same battery as the Phantom 2 and the Phantom 2 Vision Plus, but I have not confirmed that yet. And I'm hoping it is the same battery because if it is, then those batteries are readily available and there's a lot of third-party ones, just like the ones you can find within this video's description, that uh, have higher milliamp ratings and cost less. So if, if it allows um, use of the same form factor battery, that'll be a huge win. And if it doesn't, you know, no big deal. I mean, ultimately, I'll have to get a few extra batteries, but what I really like is how, uh, you know, the, the expected release price for this, what they announced. I mean, that's, I feel that's fair. I really do. And, and I'm, I'm, I'm thrilled that it's not, in my mind, I was thinking it would probably be more close to $2,000 or so for the 4K option, even if they offered a 4K option, and they do. And I'm, I mean, on a scale of 1 to 10, how satisfied could I be with what was unveiled in regards to the Phantom 3? Obviously, I've not flown the Phantom 3. I don't have my Phantom 3 yet. But how excited am I with the features and the price and what was unveiled and what all was unveiled? I will give my... I mean, I'm not going to give anybody a 10 out of 10. But I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10 because I am that satisfied so far. And, I mean, this is... Whew, I tell you, after the Inspire 1 and, you know, the release of that, and uh, it made me nervous. You know, I, I thought they were going in a different direction. No, they have impressed now. They've kept the proven platform that's portable. I mean, it's still a little large, but it's, it's very portable. The Phantom platform with 4K and FPV and everything. It's wonderful. It is wonderful, and I can't wait to get my hands on it. So, uh, so again, check the link within this video's description. As soon as it's available, I'll be posting the Phantom 3. I'll post both versions, the, uh, the 4K and then the, just the 1080p one. You can find that, and I'll post all the accessories there. And obviously, as I, <clears throat> as I obtain this equipment, I'll unbox it, I'll review it, uh, so you'll be able to see everything that, uh, that I'm doing. And, and obviously, I'll keep all my viewers abreast of, uh, of product availability and, uh, and, and all the gadgets that I use in conjunction with it, as well as the flight test videos here on youtube.com forward slash irixguy, as well as my newsletter. If you haven't signed up for my newsletter yet, uh, be sure to do so. Just go to irixguy.com. You can uh, scan the QR code that's there to sign up for my newsletter. Or you can just click the link to the right that says sign up for my newsletter and put in your email address. But, uh, whoa, I tell you, this, this was a, uh, <laughs> this was a build up. And, you know, it's one of those things you didn't know what to expect. And they did not, they did not pull another Inspire 1 out of the hat. They pulled exactly what I wanted. They pulled what I wanted when they announced the Inspire 1. They pulled this Phantom 3 out of the hat and I couldn't be happier. And, and I will be happier once I get my hands on it and, and uh, share the experience with my viewers. So thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. YouTube.com forward slash Irixguy. Y'all have a good day.